Uh, let me first just thank my distinguished colleagues in government, Councilwoman Mark Figueroa, uh, my council member Letitia James, Councilman Jamani Williams, Councilman Bob Jackson, for their distinguished leadership uh, on this issue, as well as the Drug Policy Alliance and all of the many distinguished uh, advocates, my good friend Dr. Devon Pryor, for his advocacy in addressing a very important criminal justice issue and significant racial disparity in implementation and practice in the city of New York. In, 19, in the late 1970s, uh, the possession of small quantities of marijuana was decriminalized and changed from a misdemeanor to a violation if that possession was not in plain view. For decades, uh, this law and the misdemeanor that remained for possession of small quantities of marijuana was not something that was actively enforced. However, over the last several years under this administration, largely as a result of the stop and frisk practices that are out of control, which largely target young black and Latino men all throughout the city of New York, we've seen an explosion in marijuana arrests in the city, largely focused on blacks and Latinos, subject to the aggressive stop and frisk practices by the NYPD. Essentially, we have young black and Latino men who are doing nothing on the street corner, stopped, questioned, frisked, harassed, dehumanized, embarrassed, asked, without any justification legally or constitutionally to show us everything that's in your pockets. And when they take what's out of their pockets, and if they possess small quantities of marijuana, that had it remained in their pocket, at worst would have been a violation and not a crime, they're immediately arrested and run through the system. The overwhelming majority of these arrests are thrown out or their ACD. But the fact of the arrest remains as a permanent scar on the record of these young black and Latino men and does emotional damage to the psyche of these individuals. And so the explosion of marijuana arrests in the city is out of control under the NYPD and this administration. It's unjust, it's undemocratic, it's unreasonable, and it's unconscionable. If marijuana possession is a crime that's worthy of arrest and prosecution, then we have to ask the question, why is the law being selectively enforced? The overwhelming majority of the people who are arrested are black and Latino, as has been pointed out. But the majority of those individuals who use marijuana, according to reports at the city, state, and national level, are white. But these individuals aren't being stopped and frisked and arrested for possession of small quantities of marijuana. And so the law is being applied in a racially discriminatory fashion. The law and the arrest policy is a waste of law enforcement resources, $75 million spent a year that could otherwise go to more effective law enforcement or social services, which have been cut. And the arrest policy needlessly takes off manpower from the streets that otherwise can be used to police more serious crimes. And so I'm proud to join with all of my colleagues here today, Councilwoman Gail Brewer, and in addition to those that I previously mentioned. And we will not rest until we change the law and this unjust policy is stopped dead in its tracks. Yes. Right. Yeah. We've got a number of council members join us. We're going to hear now.